that right there, YouTube. How are you guys doing? Let's plug in these heated grips. I uh, take this from off of my uh, face here. Oh my god. I was uh, kind of just setting up a little bit over here, getting these cameras going. I'm going to be running three cams. Be the Sony FDR on a helmet, the uh, the AZ1 on the fairing, as you can see, and the Yi giving you the rear view. Run into the post office, and you'll know why in a little bit. It is approximately 36 degrees today. Okay, today's November 19th. And I wish I cleaned my visor. That's what I get for riding so much. Anyhow, we are gonna just take our little sweet time here. Still working on that house. We're almost done building it. I'm gonna end up gonna go live 360 in a little while. After uh after I finish going to the post office and whatnot, but you can see the snow that we got so far. We got about 11 inches. And uh, yeah, it definitely made for an interesting, uh, interesting first uh, snowstorm. <laughs> My wife had to get the snow thrower out and start it up. Now I'm sorry to say that this is going to be the last ride of mine for the, for the season. When I get back, I'm going to drop the oil put some fresh oil in the bike and I'm gonna put her up and uh, she will be up for the winter now the reason for this is well it's just gotten pretty damn cold pretty quick <laughs> you know last year it was really different so man last year I was riding into December but this year I figure what I'll do is I'll kind of I'll, I'll pack it up a little early and you know springtime we'll be back to riding and shooting some vlogs and kind of changing things up a little bit and doing things a little different but for now you know I think we're gonna just kind of we're gonna kind of call this uh, gonna kind of call this a day okay that camera is still there that's how to make sure that camera was still over there yeah but anyhow it's not saying goodbye it's just more of a see you later and i'm a very active watcher and commenter on others videos others is others others is others is i guess i don't know but i'm very active on other guys's videos so i'll be watching your videos watching your old videos and taking the time to comment like and all that good stuff I do invite you guys to check out my Facebook page where I post a lot of odds and ends uh, a lot of photos there's a lot of weird things I post on there but anyhow to so the first thing that is on my mind is I wanted to say rest in peace to uh, Robert Rob he's one of the uh, you know one of the uh, older vloggers that <laughs> I started watching a while ago and uh, I used to always watch him on that that Sportster 72 man that's when I started watching him that's how I found him because uh, Sean Smoke had a Sportster 72 and I think one day I, I mean I was watching him and then one day uh, Robert Rob's videos probably popped up and I started watching him you know somehow either that or from a comment sometimes I end up finding people and yeah man I started watching him and you know loved his stories loved his vlogs loved his lane splitting even though sometimes I was like dude that was kind of close <laughs> I was like dude your mirror your mirror almost hit that guy and he was like yeah yeah no that was kind of close <laughs> and I'll tell you man we, it was a lot of good laughs you know and um he's one of those vloggers that you know when he he goes out there he shoots a video and he you know 
you could tell that he was progressing and you know putting a lot of other effort into his videos and man i tell you it was appreciated and uh, uh you know i'm sending a card off to his wife you know i pray for their family i pray for their family all the time you know i was in church i pray for their family and um i pray for a lot of people a lot of you vloggers also i pray for uh, that you may be going through some things in life you know certain things and i and i pray for you my grandmother tells me i need to pray for people she says and uh god bless her she's 90 years old so you know i always always listen to my grandmother's words of wisdom but uh so yeah guys i just wanted to send that uh that rest in peace out to uh, Robert Rob, brother. We're gonna miss you, and love your vlogs, and I will pray for you, your family, your grandkids, and your and your wife also. So, but guys, so this is a uh, little change of note. Yeah, so I'm just heading off to the post office now. This guy's boat is still sitting over there for some reason. I don't know why. Just taking my time with this ride because, yeah, you know how the weather is. And then after that, I'm going to head down by the water. I figure I'll do a little live video over there. A little live 360 video. I'm staying warm via the heated gloves. Not the heated gloves, I'm sorry. Heated glove liners. And you have the these are milwaukee leather gloves i got those off of amazon a long time ago and uh also i have just polyester pajamas under these these uh riding pants these over pants have polyester pajamas on there and i use those to pretty much stay warm i got this shirt um and maybe i'll try and put a photo of it in uh up on uh, up here so you can see with me in it I probably have to ask my kids to take a picture of me with it on so I can model it for you <laughs> you see that look she gave me <laughs> oh man the death look who is this guy on his motorcycle it's 36 degrees outside who are you in your car it's 36 degrees outside Anyhow, um, yeah, so that's how I stay warm. And I do have the windproof uh, Tourmaster uh, motorcycle jacket on. This jacket's about four or five years old now. So, uh, you know, I'm curious. You guys let me know how it is that you guys stay warm. What, it is, what is it that you guys do so that you can stay warm and toasty and not freeze your bridges off? I'm pretty sure you, go, you all have something. I also use those leather chaps down there. They're another huge help in regards to staying warm. You know, you kind of have, you do have some options. So, if you're on a naked bike, you know, uh, Ninja, Ginger, Ninja Man and I were talking about that. And he was like, man, I rode one day, it was like 30 degrees out and I was freezing. And I was like, yeah, man, you know, he has a, a, a he has a Suzuki SV650, kind of the more sporty orientated style bike, and with those, it's a little, it's a little hard to, uh, it's a little hard to, to stay warm. So you kind of have to do the best you can. Yeah, so we were talking about that, and we we're like, yeah, man, you know, it's kind of hard for me to stay warm. You know, I try my best, but. It often doesn't work out. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to head down to the post office and I will see you guys in a bit.